Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rosa? Are you okay? I'm fine. Great. Great. I'm happy to hear that. Your day was good today? Was your day good? Um, good. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. um, um, as I, I was, uh, feel the sick and uh, no work. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. So you are resting today. So you, you had a day off. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But do you feel better? Do you feel better? How do you feel now? Um, um, kind of good, kind of bad. Okay. Okay. I hope you get well yes, soon. Mejor, mejor. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Well, I hope I hope you get well. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Wilfredo. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. I'm very good, teacher. Okay, great. Great. How are you, teacher? Fine. How are you? Fine, too, teacher. How was your day today? Were you busy today? Yes, I usually have a busy day all days, teacher. <laughs> Always. Yeah, mm. I can imagine. Okay. Mm. Is um well, there is a lot to do in your job. Do you work from home? Yes, Are you please. still working? Oh, okay. okay. I, I'm working. So you place. work uh, by phone and meetings. Yes. And those mm -hmm. kind of things. Email. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rita? Fine, teacher. Great. How was your day today? Um. Well, <laughs> it was good. Okay. Okay. Kind of busy like Carlos. He said that he's always busy in his job. How is your job? Is it busy? Is it difficult? Is it heavy? Is it hard? Do you work from home, Rita? Uh, hard. Hard. Okay. Okay. No. You go to your physical company. To, to an office. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, I go to the church, go to the schools, oh. go to the other uh, diners rooms oh. for children. Oh, okay. So you have to go visiting all the places, checking and supervising uh, yes. supervising things okay yes okay so you distribute feeding and food is that correct food food oh. for, for children for children okay nice to hear that it's very interesting it sounds very interesting okay Nice to yes. know about that. Okay. Then let's see, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to see you? you. I'm fine too. I saw that you were disconnected. You got disconnected uh, before finishing the class. Yesterday I was very- Unstable. Very, very trouble to get connection, teacher. 
Yes, it's true. We had a lot of trouble. We are, we are ready, teacher, to, to learn. Great. Great. Hello, I, Leslie. I, uh, yes, I heard you. I, I heard you talking about, about how was how was our day? Oh yes, yes. So was your day let good? Me, let me tell you that we we celebrate today the International Day about Creativity and Innovation. Oh really? Ah, okay. Yeah, in my company. And good. My day today was very, very busy because the, uh, okay. two weeks, two weeks ago we we are we where we have we have to prepare to, to this day oh but okay. it was very very interesting because many people give 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 us uh, many many ideas to get best good. our job good because if it is creative create creativity and and it's innovation okay and tomorrow innovation. we are going to celebrate in the uh error day via la tierra how do you say oh, earth day earth, earth, day. earth. Uh -huh. yeah. the day of That's the earth it. yeah okay great so you have a lot to do with those events yeah yeah okay great great okay then i think everybody's ready are you ready guys yes teacher we are yes teacher, <laughs> yes, teacher. we are ready excellent yes, Excellent. Okay, we're gonna start today. You know what's the first activity for today? Taking the attendance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're gonna take the attendance first. Um, let's see. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Not yet, right? Okay, no problem. Let's see. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Okay. Uh, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Um, Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio. Oh, there you are, Elvia. You've got to stay present. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Walter Mauricio, uh, one second. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, let's continue. There we are. Don't mention it to me. Who, who didn't I mention? Let's see. Carlos, Carlos Ernesto. Ernesto right. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, thank you. I'm gonna take note right now. You are very happy there. Please disactivate your audio. Thank you, your audio. So it's with that music. Let's go dance. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for disactivating. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Carlos, I'm gonna take note that you are here. Okay. 
Here we go. Oh, yes, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. The problem with the music, okay, just let me explain you something. The problem with the music is that this video is going to YouTube. And if um, they detect that we have some um, music with copyrights, they cut the video or they uh, give us a sanction, okay? So they, they um, we receive a penalty, okay? So that is uh, the problem. That is why we don't use any kind of music here unless we have the, um, the permission, right? Okay. Yeah, not for you. <laughs> no, 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 it is okay. It is okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying for everybody to, uh, to know, uh, this, kind, this kind of uh, information is F, why I, FYI, I'm going to write it down in the chat. I, I think you know what does it mean exactly, FYI. Do you see? FYI, it means for your information, okay? For your information. That's a piece of advice, okay, that we have to take care about that. Okay, let's get into the content okay let's get into the content and let me share my screen with you to show the first activity for today and we are going to start with a little conversation and having uh, this relation in the language because in our language we usually when we introduce another person into a conversation or to another friend, then uh, we use our, our personal pronouns, he, she, or they, we, and we don't use este or esta, right? Because we feel that that's not polite to say this or that. So. Just to make the relation here and to take of this concept from our language to this language, okay? This is the correct way to introduce someone else to another person, right? So introducing a third person, we use this. Do you remember that yesterday we were studying these, that, those, and these? Okay, this is one of the uses. This is one of the uses. Who's got them? Let me check here. Okay, this is one of the uses, and uh, we're going to practice this little conversation. Okay, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to ask uh, some of you to to practice the conversation. Okay. So, hello, this is my friend, Carla. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend, Francisco. Francisco, do you know Edward? Yes, that's my friend too. Do you see the use of these, these, right? And that here, do you see the use? This is one of the uses, okay? So let's, Activate your audio and let's uh, say it together. If you want, you can repeat after me, okay? Hello, this is my friend, Carla. Hello, this is my friend, Carla. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend, Hi. Francisco. Hi. Hi, nice, nice to meet you, Carla. Carla. This is my friend, Francisco. Francisco, do you know Edward? Francisco. Francisco. Do you, do you know, know Edward? Edward? Huh? Yes, that's my friend too. Yes, yes that's, that's my friend, friend too. Okay, uh, let's see. Rosa and we, we need three, right? No, they are four, I think. 
one, two, three, and four. Uh, no, A, B, and C. Three people. Walter, Francisco, and Rosa. Okay. Walter A, Francisco B, and Rosa yeah, um, and Rosa will be C. Okay. Rosa, you are letter C. Let's start. Walter A, Francisco B, and Rosa C. Walter, you are letter A. Okay. Walter, can you hear me? We can't hear you. Walter Mauricio Morales, are you there? I think he's having problems with the audio. We can't hear you, Walter. Try activating your audio. No, we can't hear you yet. Okay, okay. Teacher. There, there you are. Hello, hello. No, no, we can hear you. There. Okay, okay. Okay. okay, hello, this is my friend Karna. Francisco, letter B. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend Francisco. Walter. Francisco, do you know Edward? Rosa. Letter C. I think Rosa is not there. Rosa, are you there? No, she got disconnected. Have you seen that at the time that someone is going to participate, chum, got disconnected. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, Wilfredo, you are letter C. Right now, teacher? Yes, letter C. Francisco, do you know Edward? Okay, letter C. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, that's my, that's my friend too. Okay, now I have you three over there and we're going to repeat it to do it like continuously. Continuously, yeah. okay? okay? Let's start again. Walter, you go first. Oh, excuse me, teacher. Let's start again. Again, please, from letter A. Hello, this is my friend Carla. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend Francisco. Francisco, do you know that one? Yes, yes. That's my friend too. Okay, great. Do you see here we are not using he or she. We are using this and that, okay? And this is the correct way to introduce someone else, correct? Using yeah. this and using that. This, uh, if the person is present, and that, if, if the person we are talking about is not there or it's far away or in a distance, okay? So let's go with the other one. This is another little conversation. And let's see. We are going to ask Carlos and Rita. Please, can you read this conversation, Carlos and Rita? Carlos, letter A, Rita, letter B. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you see the three guys behind the window? 
Yes, I do. Who are they? Those are my associates in Truth Affairs Inc. Okay, great, great. Uh, the I'm going to read it. Uh, I, I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm going to read it, and you please everybody activate your audio and repeat after me. Okay. Do you see the three guys behind the window? Do you see the guys behind the window? window? Yes, I do. Who are they? Yes, yes I, do. I do. Who are they? they? Those are my associates in Truth Tapes Incorporated. Those are, Those are my, my associates in the tape incorporated. 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 Yes. Incorporated. incorporated. When you see ink, you could say ink too, but it sounds more professional if you say incorporated. Okay. So now. We're going to practice again the first conversation and the second conversation. I'm going to um, take you to the uh, to the rooms where you are going to practice in groups. Okay, both both um, conversation. This is to practice the use one of the uses of this and that. Okay, this that those. Correct. Now let me break out these in rooms. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hello, Tisha. Okay, hi. I'm going to send you via WhatsApp the the pictures, okay? okay. Just okay. let me go and do it.
it's kind of slow. Okay. Um, let's okay. start. I little edge, little B Francisco, little C Rita. Okay. Walter. Uh, uh, hello, this is my friend Carla. Excuse me, excuse me, Hi. Francisco. Okay, there are beam. And there will be, and you. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend, Francisco. Francisco, do you know Ergua? Yes, that's my friend too. Okay, so little A, Rita, little B, Francisco, we don't see Ayam. Okay. Hello, this is my friend Carla. What what the letter? B. Little B. Okay. Uh, hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend Francisco. Francisco, do you know Ewa? Yes. That's my friend. And uh, you uh, Francisco, you be a me. Okay. And okay. it's start for this. Be little C. Little C. Yes. Uh, yes. Little A, uh, Francisco. Okay. Uh, hello, this is my friend Carla. Hi, nice to meet you, Carla. This is my friend Francisco. Francisco, do you know Edward? Yes, that's my friend too. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, a question. Tell me. In the use, in the, use, uh, in the practice, uh, does he do? Yes. Uh, I I don't understand oh. exactly what you mean. Again, can you repeat the yeah. question? And the usage uh, and does it does? No. Oh. Okay. This practice this practice is to uh, know or to make the difference between the use of these and that. Okay, these and that. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Remember that uh, this is when someone is right with you in the conversation, and that is the person who is not right there. It's in the distance, or maybe um, is not there in any place, right? So it's you use that that person. Okay. It refers instead instead of he or she. Correct. We use this and that instead of he and she. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation? Uh, associate. Associates. Associates. Uh huh. Associate. As it means yes. Associate. Associate. It means a co-worker. A co-worker. Okay. It's an associate. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, associate. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Kind of associate. Associate. Eight. Eight. Ah, yes. Okay, con T. Uh, mm -hmm. the, in the end. Yes. Associate. 
Excellent. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. You practice and you were going to master that word too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> associate. It means a co-worker. Co-worker. They are co-workers. Okay, let's practice the other conversation. I want to hear you. Okay. Um, Francisco? Yes, the other conversation. The next one, the one in the purple color. Uh, uh, it's only two, it's only two, A and B. Me, A, uh, okay. Uh, how do you say, comienzo yo? Do I start? Do I start? Do, do I start? I start, uh-huh. Do I start? Do I start? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do I do I start? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Do you see the three guys behind the window? Yes, I do. Who are they? Those are my associates in to take incorporate. Good. Those. Remember the pronunciation. Those. Those. Mm -hmm. Those, those are those are my associates in to take corporate. Okay, correct. Good. Now, uh, Rita Walter. and Walter. Do you see the three guys behind the window? Excuse me. Okay. Uh, yes, I do. Who are they? Those are my associates in True Tapes Incorporation. Incorporated. 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 Yes, incorporated. incorporated. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, then. Uh, do it again, and I'm going to leave the room, and I'm going to check another group, okay? Okay, teacher. Bye. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. Elvian, feel free. True. Let let me one second. I, ah. Okay. Teacher. Hello. How are you Will, doing? <laughs> Will you help yes. us, please? Yes, yeah, sure. No problem. Tell me. We need some I help. Yes. Okay, How do you tell pronounce me. in the second conversation? Uh-huh. How do you pronounce? Um, let mm -hmm. me check. In the second conversation, letter A. Uh, those, those, those are my associates in uh -huh. Troop Tape Inc. Oh, how do you pronounce? Okay, those those are my associates. Those are my associates. Associates in True Tapes Incorporated. True. True Tape. True Tapes Incorporated. In, that's the name in, of the company. Yes, right. that's the name of the yeah. company where they work. An associate is a co-worker. Okay, it's a co-worker. Yeah. That's the meaning of associate. Then uh, they work together in True Tapes True tape. Incorporated. Incorporated. Tape. Yes. Thank we could so say much. we could say True Tapes okay. Inc. Right, like yeah. like the movie. Do you remember <laughs> the movie that it has ink at the end? Okay, then. Yeah. Uh huh. So those are my associates in True Tapes Incorporated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thank you, teacher. Did Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. Then yes. I'm continue and do it again, and I'm going to give you one more minute. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, the. the
Okay, great. How do you feel the activity? How do you see the conversations? How do you see the conversations? Are they easy? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very easy. This is everyday English, okay? This is everyday English. And okay. you are going to use this way to introduce uh, someone else into a conversation, okay? Okay, teacher, um, mm -hmm. is, the, is if possible use, uh, let me introduce my friend too. Yes, it is possible. You can use that. Okay. Let me introduce my friend, but that's uh, extremely formal. Okay, extremely okay. formal. So I think it's better and it's more common that you say, hey, look, this is my friend fulano de tal, right? Uh, we say so and so. So and so means fulano de tal, okay? This is my friend so and so, okay? okay. <laughs> That's the phrase to say fulano de tal, so and so. So right. and so. Teacher, uh -huh. if you are walking around uh, near your house, but you are go another people, but you encontrar, how do you say in English? You find someone find. or okay. yeah. If, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah, thank you. If you find another people that he is your, my, my friend, uh -huh. and I, go, I am going to present or- I, Introduce? In, introduce, uh, yeah. This is the same question that uh, Carlos just asked you. Okay. We can say, this is my friend? Yes. You can say, this is my wife. This is my husband. These are, if in plural, you are going to use these, right? These are yeah. my children. Or um, this is my cousin or whatever you want to introduce. Don't say whoever. they are. You can say that. You can say they are. But usually, this is the concept that I wanted to take up from your head because in our language we use the pro the personal pronouns but in english we don't we we use um these that those and these uh, yeah it's it's normal it's normal it's not um as we will feel oh, that's not polite to say these yeah. it's not so polite to say that because of our culture but in our because in our culture you will feel not so good if someone say hey look este right yeah. <laughs> we, we don't like to to hear that that's why i'm showing this use of these and that and it's very common and this is the correct way to do it okay okay thank you teacher Okay, good. Don't feel don't feel afraid to use these and that to introduce someone else. Okay, I'm so afraid. let's continue. Let's continue. We're going to um, to get into the topic from yesterday that we started. That we started that. So I'm going to share my screen and show you some some sentences. Okay, some sentences, and let's remember that. For singular, we use this. For plural, we use these. And that's if that's near, if they are near, the objects are near, or the person is near, then you say these and this. But if they are far away or they are not there and you are talking from another place, uh, then you use that and those. All right. Okay. Now, let's see the first sentence. Our company is going to buy this building. Our company is going to buy this building. Number two, this isn't a good quality product. This, this isn't a good quality product. Three. These markers are better than those you usually buy. These markers are better than those you usually buy. Number four, this is a very good movie. Number five, she needs to buy a new dress for that elegant event, okay? Number five, she needs to buy a new dress 
for that elegant event. Now, please activate your audio and let's uh, repeat the sentences. Our company is going to buy this building. Our company is going to buy this building. Again, our company is going to buy this building. Our company is going to buy this building. Okay, number two. This isn't a good quality product. This, this isn't, isn't a good, good quality, quality product. product. Great. Number three. These markers are better than those you usually buy. These markers are better than those you usually buy. Correct. Number four. This is a very good movie. This is a very good movie. Very good movie. Okay. Remember intonation. This is a very good movie. This is a very good movie. Excellent. Excellent. Number five. She needs to buy a new dress for that elegant event. She needs to buy a new dress for that elegant event. 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 Yes. Event. Mm -hmm. event. She needs to buy a new dress for that elegant event. She needs, she needs to buy a new, new dress, dress for that elegant, 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 elegant event. Okay, good, good. Okay, now I want to see if, um, let's see, who knows how to uh, do annotations in my screen or in the screen? Did, do you remember how to? Do you remember yes. how to? Okay, yes. Carlos, can you try please and uh, match the sentence with the corresponding image? Uh, it says right here, but the correct is match. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. You have to match with a line, okay? The sentence with the correct image here. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, great. Everybody agree? Yeah. Yes, yes, right? Yes. Good. Who wants to try? Tell me who wants to try. Let me erase. Oh, thank you very much. Who wants to try and do the match? It's true. Okay, go ahead, Francisco. Good. Great. Good teacher. Okay, everybody agree? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. good. Who else wants to try? Let's erase this one. Thank you very much, Francisco. I'm going to erase it. Who wants to try? Who wants to? Okay, go ahead. Good. Great, great. You did a good job. You May did a I good job. Thank you. May I could try, teacher. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know how I can do to... Okay, you go to the top of your screen. You're on a computer, right? Okay. Okay, you go to the top and then you are going to uh, see the option anotar. In a green line there. A little pencil. It shows a little pencil on it. Do you see it? No teacher. Uh, no continue with another. Okay. Uh, you just have to, uh, first of all, move your mouse on the screen. Okay. Move it and then it is going to show the line. Does it show the line? Let me check. No, teacher. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, th there are three. Uh, okay. There is a button uh, with three points on it. The menu button. Do you see the menu button at the top? Let me check. Carlos. Antonio, Carlos Antonio, could you please, Carlos Antonio, or Francisco? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, Carlos Antonio, could you please explain the way you did it? Okay, in the top of bottom, the... Um, you go to the top of the, the screen? The, yes, and we, uh, we use uh, view options or mm -hmm. better options. Okay. Your options, and mm -hmm. then um, the option anot annotate or okay. annotate, mm -hmm. and you you have to use um draw. It's como dibujar, and you uh, select an one option, uh, arrow or line. Okay. In, in not use. view in, options, he said. View, view options. options. View options. How 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 does it shows uh, that option in Spanish? View option. Opciones. Sí, yeah. Okay. Uh, Zoom ratio request. Walter, I'm go okay. ahead. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm already uh, okay, you you'll be trying because um, there are some other activities too where we are going to use that. Excellent, Walter. Okay. There you go. Continue, Walter. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> excellent, Walter. Excellent. You see, we matched the images with the sentences. Excellent, excellent. So now we, we are going to erase that okay. and we are going to continue with another activity. Okay? Okay, good. Go, go ahead, Wilfredo. You are in. I'm going to erase um, the Walter job, okay? For you to do it. There you go. Okay, Wilfredo.
Okay. Excellent, Wilfredo. We're going to pass to the other activity, okay? Is that okay? Okay. You know what? You may try while I'm taking the attendance again, okay? You may try. I'm going to take the attendance. Everybody may try if you want. I'm going to leave it there, but please answer, <laughs> answer. Okay. Let me see. What do you see? Do you see the same? Okay, just let me do it again. There you have it. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Please say present if you are there. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fausto, are you there? Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Okay, Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present Will teacher. Ok, William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, my dear students, we are going to continue with unit two. We started uh, studying the process of the online orders, online orders and refunds. This is the topic that we are gonna be studying. The objective in this unit is that you learn the steps of a process of shopping online. When you go shopping, there is a process and the objective in this unit is that you can, I mean, you can express the process in steps, okay? Then the other objective is that you, uh, to ask and give information about a product in on online and on the phone conversation. Online conversation means a chat, right? You are chatting. And on the phone, it's when you call maybe um, the customer service or maybe you work on, on customer service. So you are going to learn some expressions how to manage a conversation uh, related to a product. Uh, the other objective is to give and ask opinions about customers' experiences, if they are satisfied or 
unsatisfied. And the other is that you are going to request and give refunds due to a bad, to bad service. So we are going to learn some um, specific expressions. And let's go to our manuals now. Okay, let's go to our manuals. And we are going to, to see the activity that was below the box of explanation about the use of these, that, and those. You remember that? It's page 19, I think. Uh, no, 21, 21, 21, 21. Okay, it's page 20, page 20. Okay, page 20. Let's remember that online or on the phone or in a physical store, we use these kind of conversations, okay? So we are going to see here. We are going to see here how to describe, okay, which object or which products you do you want. And let's remember if they are plural or if they are singular. Can you please read the first sentence in the box, Walter? I'm going to uh, point it, okay, this one. Can you read this? Sentence, please, Walter. Okay. Uh, I want to. Okay. I want to buy the computer. Great. Next one, Sandra. Sandra Beatriz, please. This one. We check the cell phone on the web page. On the web, web page. page. Web okay. Page. Let's. Page. Okay, good. Let's remember that this verb checked, we have to do an explosion at the end. We checked, we checked with like a T, we checked the cell phone on the web page. Okay, there we go. Mm, let's see, Wilfredo, please read the other one. Okay. This is going to order that kit for her friends. Good. Next one, please, uh, Silvia. The company wants to buy that leaf. Excellent. Let's go to the plural. Let's see what is the idea here. Rosa, please read that sentence. You have to buy this shoes. Let's remember the pronunciation of this word. It's these. This. These you shoes. have to buy these shoes. Excellent. You have to buy these shoes. Correct. So let's see, Maria Fernanda, please read this one. He can pay with any of these credit cards. Okay, thank you. Next one, please, Carlos Antonio. They purchase those mm -hmm. cars. Those, remember, those cars. those cars, okay. And the last one, Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Okay, then Fausto, please. Okay. Uh, my co-workers sold those products. Okay, my co-workers, I'm sorry, my co-workers sold those products. Okay, correct. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? No, teacher. Okay. Purchase 
Purchase is the same as buy, buy, buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's similar. Okay, let's go to the fifth activity in this um, in this page. It says number five. Let's read the instruction. Write the correct demon demonstrative pronoun. Write the correct demonstrative pronoun. Okay, let's see the first conversation. Number one, you have two. Uh, they are talking uh, about something, okay? Let's read it. Do you want to buy tablets? What is missing there? Do you want to buy tablets? This. 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 Okay. This okay. Uh, could it be that? Could it be that? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What if we write, uh, what if we write that over there? What is the idea? Plural. Mm, plural, are you sure? Uh, okay, let's think this is a tablet. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? Here? Here? Because it's near. Oh, yes, uh -huh. correct, yeah. Rosa. Yeah. But when we say, do you want to buy this tablet? It means that it is near. We could yeah. just point ah, okay. it and it is near. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What if we write that? What do you think it will be the idea? Mm -hmm. What do you say, lejos, teacher? Near. Far. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Far. Teacher, we have to use that because it is near, near you or near me. Okay. Okay, that's another idea, right? Maybe the tablet is near the buyer instead of the seller, okay? Yeah, it could be, it could be. So okay. just check the difference. Here you can use this and it gives you an idea. You can use that and it gives you another idea. What is the idea with this? That the tablet is near the one who's talking, okay? The tablet is near uh, the one who's talking. Okay. But if you use that, then the tablet is uh, in a distance or far from the person who is talking. Okay? okay? So here you could use either. You could use either. But remember that the idea is um, depending on the distance from the object. Okay? Correct? Okay. Yeah. If you write this, it's okay. If you write that, it's okay. Because I don't know what's happening if you are near or if you are far away. Okay? So, number two. Let's see. So, it means that here, let me make you this clear. You could use that or this. And it is okay. Number two. Let's see. Can I see jeans? Uh huh. Those jeans. Um, those jeans. Can I see those jeans? Um, bye. Okay. Um, bye. Make those. 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 Okay. Those. Oh, those. Why those? Can you explain your um, your answer, please? For me, because the yeah, the answer is a question. Uh, sure. Yes. What size? Yes. Uh, for me, it's, it's um, um, I I buy it, but uh, the salesman 
or is I this vendedor? Is this okay? The idea. This teacher. Excuse me. No, no this. Um, this. It could be this depending Jeans. on the distance uh, from the object. Maybe the person okay, who's okay. talking, maybe the person who's talking or the idea usually is that the jeans are over there, right? Are over there. And then you go to the clerk and tell her or tell him, look, uh, can I see those jeans? those jeans right and you point them yes it is correct uh i think it's better those because maybe um the jeans are not near the buyer okay maybe okay, okay. Mm -hmm. because they are not see the jeans oh good point good point maybe the person it can't see the jeans, right? Mm -hmm. She, see. she or he cannot touch it, right? Touch them. I'm sorry because jeans is always plural. So, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So let's continue. Number three. Number three. Can you read it, please, Rosa? Number three. Hey, my friends, I interest um um buy. Uh, these, and, that, and, and, those, or and, these, and that, and that, that, it is on that, that, make it. Okay, makeup, makeup, makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say that. Okay, everybody agree. Uh, what do you think, guys? What do you think? I think it's a great teacher. Mm -hmm. For me, it's good. Okay. Can you please give me a reason why? I think the this for many makeup. Mm, do you think makeup is countable? We can count makeup like one makeup, two makeups, three makeups. I don't think so. Makeup is makeup. It's uncountable, right? You say okay. some makeup. So we use a singular here, that makeup. We treat the uncountable nouns are singular here, okay? Let's remember that, uncountable with singular, correct? Okay. There we go. So my friend and I are interested on that makeup. That makeup. The small box, that's the answer, okay? So it means that uh, maybe it's not near, right? It's not near. Number four. Number four. Can you read it, please, um, Carla? Did you bring that package? Okay. Why that and not this? Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. That. I think it is correct. What do you think, guys? For you is correct, teacher. For you is correct? Okay. It's similar to number one. Is it? Isn't it? Mm. Number four is similar. Why? Because, because it could be the, the package is near the person who's talking. So you could use this or you could use that and it will be correct. Okay? If you wrote that, it's correct. 
If you wrote this, it is correct too. Okay? Okay. Okay. There you go. We are talking in singular and it depends on the distance uh, from the package. Number five, number five, Maria Fernanda, please. Uh, you can't add uh, these four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but can I take two? <laughs> okay, great. Let's see, you said these, these, right? These. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Everyone, anyone has an idea? Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Yes. Okay, because it's plural, right? They are talking about it's, four objects. It's, okay, great. And they have it on the chart. They have all those products on the chart, so they are near, right? Number six, Walter, sure, uh, please. Oh, Leslie, Leslie, where are you? I'm sorry. Did someone that has a question? Teacher, uh, uh, char uh, is carretilla in Spanish. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Leslie, please, number six. I have to the to go to buy these new books at the library. At the library, okay. I have to go to buy. You say these, right? What do you think, guys? Those. I think it's those, teacher. Right, those. Why? Because he's not near, because right? Not, yes. Unless, the unless the person has the has a list and has the names there, right? Or maybe he's watching the books on TV on advertisement, <laughs> right? Okay, then I think it will be. Those, correct? Okay. And usually we don't buy books at a library, okay? Usually we, because at the library you go to study and they borrow, okay? They lend you the, the you can go and borrow books on a library, but you go to buy to a bookstore, okay? Bookstore is the place where they sell books, okay? Library is the place where you go to uh, do investigations or to read a book, okay? Do you see the difference here? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's practice. Let's practice. And let's read A and B from number one. Carla and Elvia, number one. Carla A, Elvia B. Okay. Do you do you want to buy this tablet? Letter B. 
Yes, I want to buy the black one. Good. Number two, Maria Fernanda and Walter. Okay. Can I see those jeans? Uh, sure. What size? Okay, number three, please. Rosa and... One moment. Rosa and Francisco. Three? Number three. My friend and I are, are interested on that makeup. The small box. Okay, good. Number four, Leslie and Fausto. Number four. Did you read that page, please? Did you bring yes. this package? Yes, I did. Okay, let's repeat it, Leslie. Don't worry. Please fight the fear. Fight the fear. We're not nervous, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, and let's relax. Now, Leslie, please. Did you bring this package? Repeat. Did you bring that package? Okay, good. Did you bring that package? Did yes, you bring I did. Thank you, Fausto. Okay, let's do it, Leslie. <laughs> did you bring that package? Did you bring that package? Excellent, Leslie. There you go. That's the attitude. Good, good, good. Number five. Let's see. Rita and Wil uh, Wilfred is not there. Rita and Carlos. You can't add these four sweaters to the chart. Okay. But can I take two? Good. Number six. Okay, now uh, I think Elvia and who's missing? Uh, everybody, every, everybody. Did it, right? me, 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 me. Okay, Carlos Ernesto and and Sandra. Carlos Ernesto and Sandra. Number six. Okay, I have to go. I have to go to buy those new books at uh, the library. I am going with you. Okay, great. Great. Now, thank you very much. Desactivate your audios. Okay, and let's take a minute. Okay, let's take a minute and try intonation. Try intonation. When it is a question, we intonate like a question. But when it is an affirmation, then we do it flat, not as a question, okay? For example, number one, do you want to buy that tablet? Ah, intonation. Do you want to buy that tablet? That's intonation of a question. Now, letter B. Yes, I want to buy the black one. Yes, I want to buy the black one. Correct, do you see the intonation and the difference? Okay, take 30 seconds and try intonation. Okay, try intonation, 30 seconds okay. without the audio activated. And then I'm okay, going to, okay, go ahead. yourselves ok, tomen 30 segundos no los veo moviendo la boca ok, tomen 30 segundos para que ustedes solitos ustedes solitos ahí se oigan la entonación propia y Sientan la diferencia entre una pregunta y una afirmación, ¿ok? 30 segunditos, los cuento a partir de ahorita.
Okay, now activate your audio, please. Activate your audio. And I want to hear you all at the same time, everybody at the same time. And we are going to read number five, okay? We are going to read number five, everybody together, okay? okay. And let's start. Three, you two, can add this one. For students. You can add Okay, but can I take two? Okay, but can I take two? Okay, but can I take two? But can I take two? Okay, good. Now you feel the difference. The first one is affirmation uh, or in a negative way, right? But it's an affirmation. You can't add these four sweaters to the chart, okay? You can't add these four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but can I take two? Do you see intonation here? Do you see intonation here? It adds meaning, meaning to the, uh, to the expression. Okay, now let, let me erase this and we're going to continue with the next page, okay? The next page. And I want you to please remember What's the process to buy online? Can you tell me the process to buy online? What's the first step? Go to online web page. Okay, good. What will be the next step, the second step? Log in to your account. Okay, great. What will be the third step? Everybody help me. Okay. Okay. The first. The third. Now the fourth. Oh, the fourth. Check the price. Okay. What will be the fifth step? Okay, confirm the method of payment. And then what do you think it will be the next one, the next step? The credit card's information? Right, your billing, billing address. Your billing address, okay, your billing address usually is um, linked to your credit card information, right? Credit card information. And what will be the next one? The next step. The seventh step. Do you remember the seventh step? Uh, credit card uh, information. information. Okay, and the last step, the, it is the eighth step in our list. Submit. Okay, good, good. Confirm the information and submit. So it means that you have to check what you are buying, if it is correct, the order, and if the color, if the size is okay, and the credit card's information is okay, and then you submit, okay? So, but this is a situation when you go to a place or you buy online or you buy on the phone that you want a treatment um, a kind treatment or a polite treatment, right? When you go to a place, if you find the person, what do you want? <laughs> Are you going to buy? <laughs> I, I don't want this. Uh, I don't need, <laughs> I, I don't need to buy over here, right? <laughs> because you need that someone in a kind way or in a polite way offer the products, right? So uh, this is very important because we have some expressions in English that makes the conversation more polite, okay? More polite. 
If you don't use these phrases, then you are going to seem rude. Rude, it means bad behavior, bad behavior. And they, they are not going to buy in your place or in your company. Okay, so what is that? What is that phrase? For example, here we have a conversation and I want you to see if this conversation is polite, it maintains in the polite way, or the conversation is rude, okay? Let's read it. It says, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for, and we're going to add how long is the warranty, okay? How do you feel this conversation? Do you feel it rude or do you feel it polite? Polite. It was polite. Okay. It's polite. It was polite? Okay. Now, let's imagine that Leslie and Elvia are um, talking on the phone, okay? They are having this conversation. Leslie is Juan and Elvia is Linda, okay? Remember intonation, intonation, please, okay? Uh, and let's start. You read as if you are Linda and Juan. Go ahead, Elvia. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Can you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of five pound two cubic feet. You cubic feet. Cubic feet. Mm -hmm. A turbo process mm -hmm. and intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me the information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me the information of the warranty? That the warranty of is for? Okay, great. What do you think, guys? How long can be the warranty of a washer machine? How long do you think it could be? You the warranty. Be one year. Okay, one then year. let's add, let's add over there. Okay, the warranty of it is for one year. Okay, one year. There you go. Okay, thank you very much, Leslie and Elvia. Now, Sandra and Fausto, please. Fausto is Juan and Sandra is Linda. Okay, thanks so much for calling. Linda is a stink. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2. 5.2 cubic feet. Cubic feet are a turbo processor, processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. For how long do you think? For one year, okay? For one year, one year, 
Okay. There you go. Excellent. Sandra, excellent. Uh, Fausto. Let's see now. What questions do you think a person can ask about the product that in a company they sell? What questions do you think a customer have usually? What do we usually ask when we go to buy a product? Features. Features, yes, the features, perfect. And let's remember that yesterday, for example, we were talking about the paper when we needed to buy some paper. Do you remember? Do you remember the question? Can you tell me the, the, those questions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me some question, questions as yesterday we saw? How many grams paper do you need? How many? Grams, uh, grams paper do you need? Okay, grams of paper do you need? Rims, Good. Rims. Okay. Good. So we're talking about a quantity, right? A quantity. So the how many reams of paper do you need? Excellent. What other? What other question? What color teacher? What color did you need? Okay, good. What color of paper do you need or what, or what color of paper do you use? Because in some places they have a specific color of using, maybe they have color codes too and they are missing a color of the code. So they have to buy that kind of paper. So yes, the color, it's a very important uh, feature. But now let's think, let's think what will be a polite way to ask? If you see in this conversation, if you see in this conversation here, there are some, some questions. What do you think it will be the polite way to ask for information about mm, the product, the paper, for example? Maybe if, uh huh. The question will be, uh, excuse me, will you explain me how I can use it to don't, uh, but the product uh, work well, if I don't have to say two months before the meal, I don't know how I can use it. Be. That's why I broke. Broken, for example. Break it, I... okay. Yes, it's true, it's true. If you don't ask questions in the right time and the right way, then you won't, uh, you won't receive the right information about how it function how, uh, or what is the correct price. Imagine that you are buying this in a credit um, installments. So I think you will be in trouble, but uh, okay. Let's practice in a polite way the questions. The questions, for example, this is an example. Okay, can you tell me, okay, can you tell me how much does the paper cost? Okay, can you tell me? Ah, that's a very good expression. It's a polite expression. And what do we use? Can, okay, can you tell me? How much does the paper cost? And let's see here in uh, the washer machine here, okay? It, let's imagine that we want to know the price. Let's imagine that we want to know the price, correct? Let's imagine. What do you think it will be the polite way to ask for the price of the pro washer? Could you please give me the price of the washer, mm -hmm. the, the pro washer. Okay, could you please tell me the price of the pro washer? 
good. And some countries, they add with taxes, right? With taxes or without taxes. With the shipping, okay? With the shipping or um, without the shipping, right? So if you see, oh, here we can add some more, but let's use can to be polite, okay? can to be polite but there is another do you see here for example the first question it says how can i help you how can i help you okay how can i help you uh, it means that she is offering her assistance okay she's offering politely okay and then hi linda could you could you give me some information about the pro washer if you see this makes it polite. So let's try it again with the correct intonation. Intonation. Let's remember that we are on the phone. When we are on the phone, we use like a um, rhythm or a melody, right? To say it. So let's try it with the melody. Let's listen again to Sandra and Fausto. Okay, let's listen again to Sandra and Fausto. Sandra is Linda and Fausto is Juan. But remember, you are on the phone. So try to use your phone intonation, okay? There you go. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is pink. How can I help you? Good. Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the washer? Of course, it has a capacity of five period of point. 5.2. 5.2. Um, cubic feet. Cubic, uh, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty is of it is for. The warranty of it is for one year, right? Let's remember that we added there for one year. Okay, uh, who wants to try, but in a very melodic, uh, way like if you are a real agent on the phone okay let's try who wants me teacher okay go ahead Sylvia and who wants to be Juan me teacher okay who said me who said me say the name please me Carlos excellent Carlos Ernesto good Let's start. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pre washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, turbo processor, and intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the, wa the warranty of this is for one year. Hey, clap everyone, you did it great. Excellent job, guys, excellent job. Thank you very much, Sylvia, and thank you very much, Carlos. Do you see intonation gives meaning to the conversation, okay? So let's try it and let's see. Walter and, uh, Sylvia is there, right? So uh, Walter and Carla. Let's go, Carla, Linda, and I say Walter, right? There okay. you go. Walter is Juan. Thanks so much for calling. Linda, is a big, how can I help you? 
Hi Linda, good you give me? Could you give me some information about the pro offer? Washer, pro washer. Water, water. Mm -hmm. Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 qubit, a turbo process and intelligent cable. I second you had me information about the warranty. I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? That the warranty ought it is for one for year. one year. For one year, we said one year. For two years. Oh, great! That's a very good pro washer, <laughs> washer machine. Excellent, excellent. Hey, you did a great job, guys. You are great. I think you are awesome, guys. You are awesome. Who wants to, to practice? And this will be the last couple that it's going to practice. Who wants to say me? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Maria Fernanda and... Okay, Wilfredo, go ahead. Remember intonation. Maria Fernanda okay. Linda and Wilfredo is Juan. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Will you give me some information about the ProWasher? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 could, could fit a turbo processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty of for uh, one year. Thank you. Okay, good, great job guys. Excellent, excellent. I'm so pleased with you guys. I'm proud of you. So now let's continue with the pair word that we have down there. Below we have uh, some questions based on the conversation above, right? So let's see. Number one, what does, uh, what does one want to buy? What does one want to buy? He wants to buy a washer. pro washer. Okay, what is a pro washer? What do you think? Uh huh. One. One. One to buy. To buy a pro washer. Okay. Uh, but what is a pro, pro washer is a trademark. I think it's the model of that machine. What machine is it? It's a washer machine. Washer machine. Okay. Washer, washer machine. There you go. Washer machine. There you go. Washer machine. There you go. Okay, let's see. Number two. Oi, 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 oi. Let's do it. What question can you uh, say instead of repeat? What question can you say instead of repeat? Question about the warranty. About the, about the warranty. About the warranty. Okay, yes, the, when she asked, it was about the warranty, but what was the way to ask for uh, the person who repeat? Can you give me information about the warranty? Excellent, excellent. Uh, can, uh, but in this case is, could you repeat that please? Okay, could you repeat that please? That's the polite wait instead of, I'm sorry, repeat. Um, no, right? We've got to say, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Okay. So the answer there, the answer there, the question is, 
could you repeat that, please? Okay, that is the answer there. Could you repeat that, please? And let's remember that always, 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 it starts with capital letter, remember. A sentence, a question, always start with capital letter. Capital, okay? Could you repeat that, please? There you go. Number three, can someone uh, get into the board and write it down, uh, type it, Are the, I mean, the, the answer. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? What do you think? Both were polite. Okay, can you write it uh, down in the computer? Can you type it? ¿Alguien puede acceder, por favor, y me lo escribe? Do you remember how? Both are polite. Good. Now tell me why. Can you please tell me why? Huh? I've got to be polite too. Maybe. Uh huh. They use uh, can. Uh, please. Correct. They are using polite manners or polite yeah. expressions using can and using could as a possibility. That's giving the permission to the other person to, uh, to say no, right? To say no or to say yes, if they agree or if they disagree. So let's see. Let's see now. Oh, I have to erase this. One second. Good. So we go to the next page. And these are, these are the expressions to ask or to request information in a polite manner. Okay, in a polite way. And it's very formal too. Okay, this is very formal. So let's see. But this is the most common. This way is the most common. You use can or you use could in every situation. Okay? Any situation. It's valid to use can and could. So let's see. I'm going to read these four sentences and then I'm going to ask one of you to read them, okay? So, I can give you my personal information. I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Okay. So everybody, everybody, let's activate 
Okay, activate your audio and let's say it together. I can give you my personal information. I can, I give, can you give you my personal, personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Okay, good, good. Now, let's see the other way. Now, please deactivate your audio. Deactivate and now listen, okay? You could try with another credit card. You could try with another credit card. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? Could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? Could we check the details of my order? Okay, now, Everybody activate your audio and let's repeat. You could try with another credit card. You could try with another credit card. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give you my billing address. Everybody, they couldn't give you my billing address. Hello, everyone. Are you there? Hello, Janet. Hola. Hola. Hello, are you there? I thought I was by myself alone. Oh, you abandoned me. Why you abandoned me, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone is there, right? Uh, hello, are you there? We, teacher, yes, teacher. we, we take uh, attention, attendance. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> good, that, that's a good thing. Let's see. Hey, uh, uh, what time is it now? What time is it? <laughs> Oh, it's only only six minutes left. No, five minutes left. Okay, everybody, straight out, straight out. Everybody, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Ah, we are here. Breathe in and breathe out. Do you have any question about what we were talking about? Question? What, what we are going to do, teacher? Right now? Yeah. We are going to continue because we have five more minutes. Okay. okay. Let's yeah. see. Uh, and let's hope that the internet um, doesn't get the disconnected. Okay, let, just let me share again. Continue, right? You could try with another credit card. Everybody. You could, uh, you could try with another credit card. Okay, next one. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give my billing address. Okay, let's hear couldn't. 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 Okay. And we don't say could. Cool. Mm -mm. Couldn't. We say could. Could. Okay. Couldn't. I'm going to write down here because sometimes it sounds kind of complicated, but it is not. Okay. Like this. Could. Okay. Could. Could. And the negative. Couldn't. 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 Okay, good. good this is very good. difficult for us in our language. We don't use usually two or three consonants together. 
So you've got to practice uh, to have a very good pronunciation. Okay, now let's see. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give, they couldn't give, they couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? Could, Could you spell your last name? Last name? Could we check the details of my order? Could, Could we check, we check the, the details, details of my, my order? Order. Okay. Order. 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 There you go. There you go. Nice. That's good. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this box? Not the chair. What is billing address? Can someone explain me what is billing address? Is when, when you have information about your credit card uh, balance. Or... Uh, okay, good. Where you receive it, right? Where you receive your invoice too. Good. Okay. Now, we have to complete the questions with can and could, and then we have to ask a partner and write the answer. So in this case, what do we have to do? We have to make this up. Okay, make this up. Uh, in another word that it is not to use to say this, but like invent, okay? Come up, come up with ideas. So to do that, in order to do that, because we have two more minutes and the last minute we are going to do something. And let me show you some questions that usually a customer has. Okay, there you go. In a conversation, when you go to a place and buy something, okay, usually you use these kind of questions, okay? Can I have your name instead of asking, what's your name, All right? What's your name? That's not polite, but it is not incorrect. It is correct to ask, what's your name? It is correct but in another situation, not on the phone, right? Not on the phone. On the phone, we need to say, can I have your name, please? If you see here, we have in a big uh, font, please, please. Remember, can I have your name, please? Can I have your name, please? Another one, could you spell that for me? Could you spell that for me? If you want, you can add, please. Could you spell that for me, please? Now, can you read the third um, sentence, Rosa, please? Can, can I have your phone number? Okay, can I have your phone number? Excellent, Rosa. Let's remember to use please to feel it polite, more polite. But we are not going to ask in every question, please, right? Because uh, we are going to seem like a rabbit. Uh, can I have your name, please? Could you spell that for me, please? Can I have your phone number, please? That's like a rabbit. Uh, but in some of them, you can use please. Uh, next one, can you read it, please, uh, Carlos Ernesto? Okay. Your address. Could you tell me? Could you tell me your address? Okay, thank you. Elvia, please. This one. Can I take a message? Okay, excellent. If you see, these are some questions that we can ask and answer. So your homework is going to be think and write some ideas of questions and answers in that activity. And tomorrow we are going to practice them here. So now let me take the last time the attendance, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Um, oh, I lost it. There we go. 
Again, the same thing. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, thank you, um, Carla. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Y William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. Well, today, uh, class is dismissed. Just remember that Elvia, I think it is the one, right? Let's see. Who has the assessment for today? It is Eleani. Eleani is not here. Is there someone who wants, is there anyone who wants the, who wants the assessment? Do you want to take this turn? Only one, only one, please. <laughs> You can repeat if you want. You can repeat if if you want uh, to do it again. Okay, here I am. But class is dismissed. Assessment to one, assessment to two, assessment to three, and. <laughs> Hey guys, come on. <laughs> Nobody? Okay, I think it is not a problem. It is not a problem. You can check the videos on the platform and also you can practice with the exercise that I send in the group. And also remember please to do your homework, okay? So have a great night, okay. everyone. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you. See you. Okay. See you. Bye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Goodbye. everybody. Okay.